I had to pick one um, moment from the Revolution series over the years, and I've been to quite a few of them, probably the, the time I teamed up with uh, Arno Tournon to ride the 1,000 metre uh, Madison time trial, and we broke the record, and the crowd was absolutely uh, incredible. They were on their feet, and the noise and the atmosphere was, was just very special indeed. I've been coming since Series 1, I was at the very first event, I've been about six or seven times down to Manchester, uh, it's just a fantastic event, it's just great. Just the excitement, um, the events go non-stop, there's good music, the atmosphere is just electric. My standout moment of the Revolution Series is a bit of a, a personal one, was uh, being here at the first Revolution in Glasgow, being teammates with Ed Clancy and we won the Madison Kilo and the crowd was just, it was outstanding, I, I could hardly see in the last lap and basically the crowd was willing you on and they, basically the crowd got me through it but that was my biggest personal uh, standout sort of moment from Revolution. So the first Revolution was in Manchester 10 years ago. And I went to the first one, but my abiding memory of Revolution in the last few years was Mark Cavendish riding on the track in his World Championship jersey. And it's a really special night because not only did he ride in his World Championship jersey, he also said goodbye to his friend Rob Hales, who had also ridden many Revolutions, but looks after Mark Cavendish during the season. And it was a really emotional night. It's my third time coming to the Revolution Series. I just have a passion for cycling and I do it myself, just track and road, so coming and seeing athletes at the top level kind of inspires me to do it and it's exciting as well. I wouldn't say it's my favourite memory, but my strongest memory is of a massive crash in the Future Stars women's event and I've still got the splinters to prove it, so I'll have those memories for a lifetime.